Hi, I'm Andrew, the Young Adult and Media Librarian at North Brunswick Public Library. Sometimes you'll hear about a uh, celebrity or a person in power of some kind or another who has who treats people cruelly, who uh, has been accused of horrible crimes. And it's, you know, when you hear that, you, it's upsetting that somebody would do that. It's also upsetting that that person would be able to get away with it um, multiple times. All right, you hear about stories about uh, people in power, and power can mean celebrity. Uh, people, but, uh, you know, and you just wonder if there's persons ever going to get justice of one kind or another. Sometimes they do lose their career and sometimes they don't. And sometimes that's just seen as arbitrary, whether they do or not. Well, I'm going to look, take a look at a new young adult novel that uh, looks looks at what happens when um, when a character is in a, when a 17 year old girl with big dreams is put in a situation uh, with with someone who is using his power and money and fame to abuse her. The book is called Grown and it's by Tiffany D. Jackson. You might know her as the author of Monday's Not Coming, allegedly, and Let Me Hear a Rhyme. And this is a really, uh, in a lot of ways, it's an unrelenting book at times uh, because Oh yeah, it can, it can be a very upsetting book to read, which is not to say that in the end it's not a satisfying book as well. All right, so, so, so in this book we meet Enchanted. Enchanted is the protagonist and the narrator. Uh, she loves to swim and she really loves to sing. She goes, so she sort of tricks her mother into bringing her to an audition in New York City for a TV show. And if she does really well at the TV shows, the judges of the show could invite her to be on the TV show itself. Well, as it happens, you know, the three judges vote and she, she and Enchanted is not invited to be on the TV show. But something very significant also happens at this. This and that is that Corey Fields, who is a major music star, shows up at the audition. And you know, and any you know, if he he may remind you of certain music stars or other celebrities, uh, but he's of course a fictional character. By the way, at this point, we know that the, that he might actually be dead. Um, in the because the reason why I say this is in the first chapter, we know that enchanted sort of the the enchanted is upset very you know, and panicky even and she sees a lot of blood and she sees Corey's body not moving and then the book goes back to the past um it looks at the events that have led up to this moment and one of the one of those one of those events occurs backstage at 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 the of the tv show backstage is dark enough to mask the oncoming tears. The perfect place to hide when you need a moment or two, or 10 or 15. I need a few before rejoining mom, before spending the 45 minute drive home in awkward silence. I tricked her into taking me to this audition. All, all for nothing, I don't understand. I know I nailed that song, did way better than others. But maybe it wasn't the song choice. Maybe it was the whole package that turned them away. My skin, my clothes, my crooked smile, my non-existent hair. Nice song. His breath touches the back of my neck and I whip around. Corey Fields. My tongue plays dead in my mouth. Lips parting. When did he come back here? And how... Wait, I'm talking to Corey Fields. Well, no, I'm not talking. He's talking to me. Say something, dummy. Um, thanks. His smile lights up the dark space. Up close, he smells rich, like honey and musky tanning oil. 
His outfit is crisp, not a speck of dirt on him, not even on his kicks. Interesting pick, he says, nodding as if impressed. Interesting, I repeat. I'm just surprised someone your age would suit such a, would choose such a classic. I don't know how to take that, so I shrug with and offer honesty. It was one of my grandma's favorites. He pauses, a stunned look in his eye before chuckling. Yeah, mine too. We sit, we stand in silence, staring at each other. The next contestant is already on stage, singing Beyonce. I guess, I guess I missed the memo that I should have gone with this, any song from her catalog. Corey seems much taller in his music videos, towering over every girl he dances on. But in person, he's regular. Not that he's short or nothing, just not the Le LeBron James I thought he'd be, more Steph Curry. You have a voice, he says. You take lessons? Kinda. I don't think YouTube counts, but I practice all the time and write my own songs. Hmm, well, you should take some, professional ones. I blink. Ouch, was I that bad? Oh, nah. Not like that, he chuckles. But even naturals need some coaching, like sports. You get better the more you train, you feel me? I think of Coach Wilson and smile. Yeah, I think I know exactly what you mean. Corey searches my face. Here, let me show you something real quick. I gasp as he steps towards me, laying one hand flat on my stomach then the other on the middle of my back. I tense up frantically searching the room. Does anyone see this? Corey Fields is touching me. But there's only bodyguards, and they all seem to be standing away from us, backs turned, pretending they're invisible. Relax, Ma, it's okay. You're safe with me, he says with a wink, voice raspy. See, you gotta breathe from your diaphragm. Do it with me, ready? I breathe in deep, my belly expanding as he caresses my back. Now release a note as you exhale. I do as he says, and the note comes out smooth and effortless. See, better. Yeah, I giggle, better. I look up into his eyes and I can't look away, so I don't because he doesn't either. His lips press in a hard line part. All right, so you see that there's uh, some, there seems to be some uh, flirtations going on. By the way, Corey Fields is, you know, he's a grown man too. You know, he's, in, he's uh, 28, whereas our, there's a heroine, their narrator in, in Enchanted is only 17. Um, so th that becomes an issue as well. Um, also, I should let you know that the book has a content warning. Mentions, uh, I'm reading directly what it says, mentions of sexual abuse, rape, assault, child abuse, kidnapping, and addiction to opioids. And the book does, you know, the book sure enough does have that. And it can be extremely upsetting uh, as it goes on. You know, I found myself saying, I really wish Enchanted would just get out of that situation that she's in with Corey as, as this relationship gets very, uh, gets very, very ugly. And of course, getting out of her, it's not necessarily that simple, right? Because, you know, Corey does use what he, what he can to keep her there, even brainwashing her. Um, you know, and I, I really don't want to give away what happens here, although, I think, you know, some of it's not necessarily that shocking. I'm going to leave out the things that are, I'm going to not mention the things that are a little more surprising. Um, for a long period of time, the book, um, it we just see the abuse and it's just so, yeah, it is very upsetting. Um, and the last portion of the book, though, things move very quickly. Um, and we see Enchanted trying to take things into her, the events into her own hands. Um, and how empowering you find that is certainly, uh, yeah, certainly a matter of opinion and it's a matter, and, but I do think that it is, there is sort of a 
sense that things are terrible, but not necessarily hopeless here. Um, so if that sounds like, if you want to read a book where, where someone does undergo a lot of terrible things, but is able to, or at least, or at least is able to at least try to take things back in control, uh, then you may really enjoy this book. Um, it is available from the North Brunswick Library. You can place a hold on it. Uh, you can go to our website or you can call us and put a hold on it that way or we're using your North Brunswick Library card. Or you can also use that card to uh, download the ebook on the Libby app. Uh, if you have any questions about how to do that, you can, you'll be happy to help you with that. Uh, so if you have read this, I'm curious to hear what your opinions are about it. Uh, and again, I'm always looking for to for hear requests for uh, things that we can look at for the library or for me to talk about. Happy reading. <laughs>